As everything prepared, now we start to cook uh, beef with oysters and sauce. And uh, as I said, this dish, main thing is beef and oyster sauce. Actually, we don't need any vegetables. But uh, if you want to use some vegetables, as I mentioned, and uh, we can use all kinds of uh, green leaf vegetables. And today we use uh, broccoli. And uh, if you use the broccoli, and then we have to branch broccoli first, okay? And the first, uh, now we have to prepare a very boiling water. And then you just punch the broccoli in. And then, how long? Sometimes it depends on uh, how soft you want your vegetables. But for the Chinese cooking, we always prefer the vegetables very crunchy. So you just put it in uh, maybe 10-15 uh, seconds. And then uh, once the color becomes very bright green, and then take it out. And the reason we have to branch the vegetables, not only let the vegetable look pretty, and uh, we want to the very hot water to uh, wash away the unwanted and present raw flavors. Okay? If you think you will cook the dish right away, and then you you should just stir fry it. Otherwise, and then we can punch the vegetable in a very fresh cold water. Okay, and then now the cooking is stopping. And then uh, this vegetable, you actually you can prepare ahead of time. And uh, after you rinse and complete the cold, dry it out, and then uh, you can put it in the fridge and uh, stay very fresh for one whole day is no problem. Put in the well sealed plastic bag, okay? So now we take it out. And then, because the Chinese cooking is so fast, so you check everything is ready, the beef is marinated ready, and then the, the ginger, green onions, and then seasoning sauce, and then we start to cook. I don't think that anybody needs to see my wash my wash, okay? So every time before cooking, and then we have to check the wok is clean or not. And then the cleaning of the wok is a little bit different. It's not in color, okay? Just clean. Just need a clean surface. Nothing stick on. Okay, so we heat it up the oil. No, heat heat it up the wok first until it hot enough. How is hot enough? Either you can use your finger to touch it. Okay, once your finger can put it on, it's not hot enough has to be, you cannot put on your fingers. And then the wok is starting lightly smoke, and then put some oil. How much oil? Sometimes it depends how big the meat you cut. The bigger the meat, you need more oil. And uh, put in the oil, and heat up a little bit. In the restaurant, we have a power wok, so it's very fast. At home, you can heat it up a little more. And put the meat in. Beef is very easy to cook. And once it turns color, take it out. You see, all the meats almost turn color. Now take it out. And save some oil. How much? One or two tablespoons. And uh, the ginger really goes well with beef. Put some ginger, green onion, how much? Just depends how much you want. 
and cook a little while, maybe 15 seconds. Let the ginger and green onion smell come out. And then if you do have the vegetables, now put in the vegetables. Because the vegetable already cooked, now you just uh, heat it up and cook the vegetable with the good smell of the ginger and green onions. And now we check our seasoning sauce. Because the seasoning sauce, in we have cornstarch. Cornstarch sometimes will settle in the bottom. So before you really use it, try to stir it again. And then I always like to do this. In the final taste, if the sauce is uh, just the right flavor. Okay, if it's the right flavor, everything's right, just think now we toss salad on a hot wok. Okay, the meat in, high heat, and stir fry everything together. Think about the seasoning sauce, just like a salad dressing. You put it in and stir fry everything together. Use the highest heat until the sauce is thickening and then the sauce just wrap around the beef and the vegetables. Now it's done. Today I have a very pretty platter. Take it out. That's it. It's the dish. And then when you put it on and then try to make it as colorful as possible, just to put the, the green broccoli and then the brown colored beef. Spread it out as a pattern to please your eyes. That's the dish. Every time after you're cooking, and then use the hot water to soak your wok right away, just for easy cleaning. 